Okay. We're going to just run through, you know, <clears throat> some things you can do to take your take back control of your environment. You need to take back control of your environment. The stages in life that we've just gone through. You need to take back control of your environment at whichever stage you are. The earlier you are in that stage, the better. Trust me. But it's never too late. Never too late. And I think specifically with the last point that we were on, it's a lot of people that haven't really taken, it, uh, like taken. Like Liam Neeson's <coughs> taken? <laughs> so starting off with the socioeconomic aspects in the socioeconomic environment the first thing that you need to do is acknowledge the situation and the environment that you are in the fact of the matter is some dudes are born on the right side of the tracks and others aren't that is life it will always be that way more times than not Life is shit. Life hands you shit. More times than not, life is going to hand you shit. But every single time, you have the opportunity to do something great with that. Flip it. Turn it around. Every single time, you have that chance. Life's not always going to give you shit. Most of the time, it will. But you will always have the opportunity to decide how you react to that. And if you allow yourself to be pushed, allow your buttons to be pushed by others, it's unfortunately it's a bad habit to break as you grow up. So you've got to take control of your environment, take control of your mental environment. For those that are privileged, Recognize that you are privileged. Recognize it. You know? It's a good day. Fuck. <laughs> it's a good day. 90%, 95% of the country, 90%, let me not go hard, 85%. 85% of the country wish they were you right now. They wish they were you right now. So what are you going to do with the blessings that have been bestowed upon you? Help use that positivity and those blessings that you have to shine a light on others that haven't had that fortune. I'm not saying give them money. I'm saying give them light. Give them positivity. Give them strength. Because you are a well of strength. You can pick dudes up. You know? You can, you can, you can be the dude. You can literally make the, 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 all the difference in, in someone's life. But you have to recognize that you have that power. You have to recognize, acknowledge, accept, and use that power. Expanding and, and, and ending on those now is <clears throat> how you can effectively apply those to all of these environments that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. The first thing that I'll appeal to is to the adults and the adult youth because the adult youth are the target market of the kum kum, you know? <laughs> but I'm appealing to the adult youth, the adults in the community. Let's not be tone deaf to the needs of the community. Um, maybe there's enough shabids, you know? If there's one... Like, you know, there's enough, sh there's so many Shabins in the township. Like, no one should ever be arrested for drinking and driving ever. Because it's like walking distance. Okay? But let's, like, stop or move them into, like, the back streets, not on the fucking main road next door to the school. All right? Let's, let's be subtle. Okay, guys? <laughs> let's be subtle with um, all of the loud and all of that. And to the youth, we're sorry, you know? We, we're so sorry that we've left you and given you such a, a tough environment. It's not the environment that we promised. But you still have all of the opportunities that you require. 
You just need to know how to access them. That's the beautiful part about the time that we live in. All of these opportunities are open to everyone. You just need to know how to access them. And I know that becomes a bit difficult with the kids out in the villages and what, but that's where us as the adults comes into play. You know, one of the beautiful things that happens, I mean, anyone that follows football, is whenever someone from a poor country, poor village makes it big, playing in Europe or wherever, generally the ones that are cool <laughs> take that knowledge back. They basically go back to be the plug to get their people into that league. But not only that, they just, yeah, they go back to pump in financially and all of that. But the main thing you want to give is knowledge. We're not, we don't all have money. What we all do have is life experience. We have knowledge. We have knowledge from good, from what's right and what's wrong. Through our experiences, through the experience that we've lucky, been lucky to, to observe and learn from, those, that's, that's what we can... That's what we can impart on the youth so that they can navigate these situations and hopefully one day become better than us. Also really important, you got to be careful who you're hanging around. You know, it's, it's not safe like it used to be. It's not safe. And parents, moms, dads, stop leaving your kids with strangers, man. Stop leaving your kids with Oh, I'm, ah, he's my brother. He's not your brother. Ah, he's my brother. You know, if you know you've known him for like three months or something, you guys just hit Carfax a couple times. And, you know, now you're leaving him with your kid. Don't do that shit, dude. This is a, a weird age. Some fucking weirdos out there. Stay vigilant. Teach your children how to defend themselves. That's the environment that we've left them. They have to know this now. They have to know this now. Teach them how to defend themselves. Never lower your standards. Just because it's okay for someone else doesn't mean it's okay for you. If you feel you can do better, if you feel you want to do better, do better, full stop, end of. Don't let anyone negotiate your greatness. And the real lesson is <clears throat> when it comes to the working place. This is where life gets real, guys. This is where all of the boogeymen that um, people try and politic on, whether it's sexism, racism, all of that type of shit, this is where, unfortunately, it starts to become a little bit real. You know, there are companies that aren't transformed. There are companies that are anti-transformation um, as far as women... I mean, they just released some, some states as far as female employment. And I think of the, all the companies on the JSC, only 5% of them, of the top companies in the JSC, only 5% of them have female uh, CEOs in 2023. And this is in a country with a population split of 51% women, 49% men. You know, so the figures are out. Unfortunately, we haven't done enough in the past to correct this for you guys. But it is what it is. And it is now your responsibility to change it. The unemployment situation in South Africa is dire. <clears throat> it's a fact. 35%. So it means the working environment is as competitive as it's ever been. There are 10,000 other yous. However special you, you think you are, there are 10,000 other yous out there that are waiting to take your job. That's the fact of the matter in essay. You're going to have to actively seek employment. Yes, it's a digital world, but applying online is not enough. Applying, you know how many emails I, 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 I had this morning? 132. You know how many I read? Thank you. All right? <laughs> Stop this bullshit of emailing. Especially if I see an email, fucking katlejo uh, mp143 at gmail. Like, dude, what do you want, Ben? I'm doing shit here. I'm just signing up reports. Phone motherfuckers. 
phone motherfuckers. Visit offices. Do it nicely, though. Okay? No cap, no fucking hat and shit. Dress up proper. Don't be intimidating. Be smart, be suave. But you've got to go and grab it. You have to go and grab it. You want the job? Take it. In a consensual way. Fashion. Stop waiting for replies. Stop waiting for someone to save you. I know this is the story that they've sold you since you were small, but unfortunately it is not the reality. No one's going to save you. But here's the good news. You can save yourself. And the way that you do that is by grabbing life. As Ankle Tap, shout out Ankle Tap, would said, grabbing life with their neck. Grab it with the neck and say, hey, Sunny, I'm not going to die how I grew up. I'm worth more than that. 